Hey everybody, Sims Life here. Welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how you would import uh, custom content objects into uh, Blender for posing. So I have a wheelchair that I want to import into Blender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the file, which I have it saved in. It's in my game. It's in my documents folder. So I'm going to go to my mods folder and here's the wheelchair. So I'm going to copy it, copy the file. Now we have to import this into Sims 4 Studio. So you have to go to where you have it saved. Um, I download my Sims 4 Studio through the installer. Um, so mine's in my documents folder. So it all depends on how and where you save it. So I'm going to go to documents, Sims 4 Studio, and mods. And I'm going to paste the, the wheelchair file into here. I'm going to go ahead and open my uh, Sims 4 Studio, go to Object, Create 3D Mesh, and hit Object. So up here, where it says Game Pack and Content, go to Content, and choose Custom. And here's the wheelchair. So once you have your wheelchair selected, hit Next. Um, you have to create a package file every time you export something, so we'll just call it wheelchair and then hit save. So here's the wheelchair. So we're going to go to meshes and export mesh to create our blender file. And this too I will name wheelchair. And then I'm going to hit save. And I do have this saved in my rigs folder. Okay, so I'm just going to close out of this. We don't need it. So I'm going to open up my rigs folder. I'm going to open up my rig. And now I'm going to import, um, I'm going to import that uh, wheelchair that we just saved. So go to File, Append, and here's the wheelchair blend. Hit Object, and if you just hold, if you just left click and hold, you can just drag up. We're going to, we're going to import these uh, bottom three and hit Append from Library. And now we got the wheelchair in here. And this orange thing around is the uh, bone shape, which we don't need that. It just gets in the way. So we're just going to delete it. Click on it, right click, and delete. And now it's gone. So that's how you import custom content objects. Um, I can try a quick pose. I made a mistake of importing my sim in black shorts, which was a not ideal, which was not ideal. Um, as you can see, the the dots blend in. So I really want to, I really want to re-export my sim uh, before, <laughs> before I do anything serious with posing. But so before I start posing, one thing I do is I hit any joint. You can double tap A and it'll highlight all the joints. So you can hit I, and then come down to lock rod. And what that does is it just saves all the joints on the side here. So that way if you can't find something or you're struggling clicking on something, you can just choose it from here. Um, so I'm just gonna, hopefully this goes over okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull them down. So that way he's in the seat. Um, we could always you could always readjust later. It doesn't have to be perfect right off the start. So I'm gonna look for the pelvis. Turn to the side. I I use the R key by the way for rotation. So I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab his ankle. I'm gonna try with the inverse kinematic. And I'm going to hit the, the G key, and I'm just going to lift it up. Sometimes it goes a little nuts. Let's rest this foot on there. We'll readjust. We'll readjust everything. Um, the shorts are a little puffy, too. So That's wrong. Wrong key. It 
double tap bar, you get your your free rotation. You can rotate it anyway. I like to use that when I'm just kind of trying to move the leg around where I want it. <laughs> and then we'll come down here, click the ankle, use the G key, and lift it up carefully. And it's going to go crazy. I mean, sometimes you just can't get away from that. You should always be rotating your screen too. Um, because it is 3D, so sometimes it's not, it doesn't always look how you think it might look if you're looking at, at it from like the front or from the back. <laughs> Let's move this foot over just a little bit. I'm going to go for this. Where's the thigh? There it is. I'm going to double tap R for the free rotation on the thigh so I can move it. And now I just have regular rotation. Where's the, this is, here, this is kind of why I want to, want to wait a little bit. Here we go. Here's the root bind. I will do poses uh, in real time. They won't be great, you know, but it'll be just like, kind of like the basics. Um, Cause they do take a long time to make and, here we go, let's pull them down just a little bit. We can re-raise his, we can raise his feet again. Okay, sorry, I'm just looking at the, so I got the ankle. Pulling it up with the G with the G key. Um, the video I made will explain the inverse kinematics a little bit more. I like it because what it does is like when you click the bone, the rest of the bones will follow. So it's it's pretty nice. Um, let's see here, pull his arm down a little bit. Just using the R key. I have no idea what pose to make. I didn't really have anything in mind. It was just more for showing you how to import uh, custom objects. <laughs> so I'm just kind of resting his, his hand on the... You can move him back too. I mean, he might be a little, a little too far forward. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so we got the root bang here. We can always move, lean them back just a little bit. So that way, there we go. So I, I use this root bang and I, I'm moving them back just a little bit. So that way he's resting against the back of the chair. Now readjust his feet. Uh, with the G key. Just to give him like more of a, so that way he's not just like sitting straight up in the, the chair. And we can, what is this? this? This is like the spine number two. Don't ever hesitate to use, uh, oops, like the spine here. Like when you want to like lean them like side to side, it's better to use the spine. And same thing with here, when you want to like lean them forward a little bit. Um, we got like spine zero, which is another good one. Here's that one. Um, there's that one. You know, if you want to, you, if you hit the spine and do like the double tap R for the free transform, you can just kind of like Kind of move them a little bit. Same thing with this one. <laughs> okay. And here's the, the clavicle, which is a good one to move when you're moving, when you're raising the arm. So if you wanted to like um, append another sim, bring another sim in here to be like standing behind him, maybe holding the, the handles. I'm not going to get too crazy in the pose right now because I don't have anything in mind. I I need to I need to look up poses, but I think I will do that in one of these upcoming videos. I'll find a pose and uh I'll find a pose that I kind of want to kind of recreate and I'll be more ready. I mainly want to just show you in this one how to you know, import a custom content item into the game. So but that's how you would do that. <laughs> 
So anyways, guys, I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you enjoyed, uh, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe. And I will talk to you next time. Bye, guys.